Hello, brothers and sisters. We are going to see how we can read data from uh, sensors or from uh, Arduino CEO ports by using Python. The component you're gonna use, you have uh, MQ135, gas sensor. You have uh, Arduino Uno, have USB cable. You have breadboard, you have uh, connecting wires. Let's move forward. So we have the circuit diagram. First, we connect the analog port of the sensor to analog of the Arduino Uno. You connect the ground of the sensor to the ground of Arduino. You connect the five volts of Arduino to the VCC of the sensor. The procedures we're gonna forward first is to connect the circuit diagram as indicated above. So let's move into lab session. So you can see the circuit is connected and the, the sensors and the even mobile controllers are powered. So the next step is to show you how the codes are developed. So, so here we have uh, initialize the CO communication with the board rate of uh, 9,600. Then I have indicated that the analog port of Arduino is the input is the way the sensor is connected. Then I have declared a sensor value to hold the data from sensors. Then I have uh, sent data through serial port, then I push the delay between the leadings. So now let's upload the code. First, I, I will check the port. It is a common port, 13. The board is Arduino. So let's upload it. Now, the code is done uploading. So, what I can do, I can now op open the Jupyter Notebook. First, I will import a, a library called the time. I import library called CDO for reading data from serial communication. Then I will declare that the device is connected to the serial port. We have seen it's a COM port 13. Then I will check if, then I will check if it is able to detect the COM port by using this print. I put here the device or the common port. Then I check the serial communication by using serial dot serial. Put here the communication port and even the board rate we are using in the Arduino IDE. Then I, I say if there is something wrong, let's say leading fade, leading fade. Now it's okay, it is not failing. Now I can check the data from the sensor. I use Arduino dot lead line for reading the data from serial port. Then I print the data. OK, 
can see I have uh, 234. So I can even use the while loop for the trying to monitor the readings from the serial monitor. I think why it's true. Run it again. This we can need the values from the sensors as they change. You can detect them. Hey, Miss and I, I want you only to retrieve numbers without the other parts. So what I will do. Let me show you how you can do this, but to get the values only. Say this. Let me say, as you know, it is equal to now str. str line. Then let me print them. Okay, I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The code can we start it again? Let me say new data equal to data dot split and then data split by using slash let me check I print, I print new data what I want to have can have this. So let me now say I want to I want to, to have this data. Let me split this by using this. Can have this. So let me check. Let me now say, we say again dot split. I put it here again. I split it by using this, that one. It's the object is not uh, splitted. Uh, let me say zero, like this. I can have B, let me put here now one. I run it, you can have the number. So for getting the data from Arduino, what I can do, you can now copy this, the whole path, after creating the whole path, then, then I put the path here, for the data from sensor, we convert it into string. Now, I said this is the data. Then I print the data. Let me run this. This we can have the readings from the sensors. Guys, please enjoy the session of reading data from sensors, reading data from Arduino through the Python script, through the Anaconda Jupyter Notebook. 
So if you want to proceed with the data, you can push the data into the database and so on. This is the next part. So guys, please don't forget to click on subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you.